in this tutorial you will learn about some of the sketching tools. The final model and the dimensions are shown in this slide. This is the final sketch that you will learn to create in this tutorial. Before proceeding further, you need to start a new file in the part workbench. To do so choose the new button from the standard toolbar. The new dialog box is displayed. Select the part option from the list of types list box and choose OK. The new part dialog box is displayed. Enter C03 TUT1 in the Enter Part Name selection area. And select Enable Hybrid Design checkbox, if it is not already selected, and choose the OK button. A new file in the part workbench is started. Take out the Sketcher toolbar. Now choose the Sketch button. Select the YZ plane from the specification tree, or from the graphics area, to enter the Sketcher workbench. First dock all the toolbars from the drawing area by double clicking on the toolbar. Now take out the profile toolbar in the drawing area. Now, choose the circle button. Take out the sketch tools toolbar. Move the circle to the origin and specify the center point of the circle when the coordinates display a value of zero. 0 above the cursor. Move the cursor horizontally toward the right. In the Sketch Tools toolbar press the Tab key twice and define the circle radius 40 in the R edit box. A circle is drawn. Again, choose the Circle button from the Circle toolbar. Move the cursor to a location whose coordinates are 130, 0, and specify the center point of the circle. To see the view clearly choose the pan button. Arrange the dimensions properly. After drawing both the circles, you need to draw two lines in such a way that they are tangent to both of them. These lines will be drawn using the bitangent line tool Choose the Bitangent Line button from the Line toolbar. You are prompted to select the geometry to create a tangent line. Move the cursor to the first quadrant of the first circle and specify the start point of the line. You are prompted to select the geometry to create a tangent line. Move the cursor on the second quadrant of the second circle and specify the end point of the line at this location. A tangent line is drawn. Choose the Bitangent Line tool again. Now draw a tangent line on the lower side of the sketch by selecting the fourth quadrant of the first circle and the third quadrant of the second circle. Now dock the toolbars from the drawing area by double clicking on the toolbars. The sketch after drawing both the tangent lines is displayed. After drawing the after loop of the sketch, you need to trim its unwanted portion using the Quick Trim tool. To do so take out the Operation toolbar. Double click on the Quick Trim button and you are prompted to select a curve type element. Click on the unwanted portions of the sketch. Now dock the Operation toolbar. Click once on the Quick Trim button to exit from tool and the final sketch is displayed. After drawing and trimming the after loop of the sketch, you need to draw its inner loops, which consist of two circles, that will be drawn using the Circle tool. Take out the Profile toolbar again. Double click on the Circle button. From the Circle toolbar, you are prompted to select a point to define the circle center. Move the cursor to the origin and specify the center point of the circle. When the value of the coordinates is 0, 0, take out the Sketch Tools toolbar, as it is hidden. Enter the value 45 slash 2 in the Radius R edit box, in the Sketch Tools toolbar which is equal to the radius of the circle. You will notice, that the radius dimension value is displayed on the circle, and the circle turns green. This means the circle is fully constrained. 
because you double clicked on the circle button. The circle tool is still active. Now specify the center point 130, 0 of the second circle. Set 10 mm radius in the R edit box. Dock all the toolbars. Now to save the file take out the standard toolbar. Choose the C button. Create a new folder with the name C03. Save this cat file in C03 folder. To close the file choose file from the menu bar and select close.